Hey friends, in this video I'll show you how to build an AI chatbot that can do more than just provide assistance to your potential customers. It can also send them advertisements, engage them to leave their contact details, and automatically generate new leads for you. Let me show you a quick demo right away. This is a chatbot we are going to build. We can test it out in a new tab or, for example, add it as a widget to a website or WhatsApp or Instagram or whatever it is that you use to communicate with your potential leads. So this is my hypothetical business website representing a web agency. Let's click on the web chat widget here and start a new chat. Okay, we can ask any question and the AI assistant will answer it based on my knowledge base and instructions. I'll ask, can I develop a website from scratch? And it provides me with the relevant answer. Let's say, what is your pricing? and it breaks down the pricing for me. So now the difference between a regular AI chatbot and this one is that uh, I've set it up to send me an advertisement after every three messages. So I sent three messages and when it replied to my last message, it also provided me with an option to claim a free ebook. I don't actually have a free ebook, so it will redirect to my YouTube channel, but typically businesses would redirect you to a page where you can leave your contact details and download the ebook for free. Then I can continue chatting with it and after the next three messages, it would send me another lead generation ad. This time it's a free HTML template. A user would click download and in a real world scenario, you'd be prompted to leave your contact details to download it for free. That's how it works. I've set it up to send me three types of ads, an ebook, a free HTML template, and the last one, which is simply a request to leave an email address or phone number to be contacted by an expert later. After three more messages, the last ad will be triggered. Would you like one of our experts to get in touch with you? If so, what is your preferred contact method? Let's choose email. Uh, first, it asks me for my name, let's say Brandon. And now it is asking me to input a valid email. Brandon at gmail.com is my email. And I added this is my email part on purpose because it should be able to extract the email address only. Please ignore this unable to find relevant question. My knowledge base was just a short text generated by ChatGPT. In your case, it should be a comprehensive knowledge base that should cover most of the questions asked. Plus, you should instruct it to redirect users to the relevant URLs from your website if it doesn't know the answer. In my case, it's just a dummy business with a badly prepared knowledge base. Now, in real life, you'd have this integration in mac.com scheduled to run automatically. But for the purposes of this video, I'll manually run it once. And what it does is extract the name email and phone number from that conversation and automatically paste them to my Google spreadsheet. So as a result, a new row appears here with my name and email. And since I didn't provide a phone number, the field is set to zero. That's how this fully automated workflow works. An AI assistant generates new leads and fills in the spreadsheet with them for you. For this method, we are going to use VoiceFlow as a chatbot builder and make.com to connect the chatbot to your spreadsheet with leads. And as always, all the links and materials used in this video will be provided in the description below. This is our chatbot design in VoiceFlow. And before I walk you through all these blocks and how it works, I want you to know that you don't have to actually build it yourself. You can download this template from the video description and import it directly to VoiceFlow. Then you just need to replace the knowledge base with your own, change the webhook URL for make.com here and modify the ads. But make sure to watch how I actually build it to understand how to properly modify this template to make it work with your data. The logic of this chatbot is the following. In the first block, we set up two variables, add router equals one and messages sent equals zero. We also add a welcome message here and the next step is to capture the user's reply. So the messages sent plus plus means that it will count the number of messages sent. And as you remember, once there are three messages, it should trigger the first ad. So when I move on to the next block, there is a trigger in place. If messages sent equals three, then it goes to the next block and it has another condition. If the ad router equals one, then we go to add block number one. And in the beginning, while setting up my variables, I set add router to equal one. So the condition is met and the corresponding ad would be triggered. Now, this is my block with ad number one. And this JavaScript block here means that we update our variable and if the user continues to send messages to the chatbot, it will go again through the main loop 
but instead of add router equals 1, the variable is now reassigned and add router equals 2. So if the trigger of three messages is activated again, it will go to the same block as before. However, this time the condition add router equals 1 is not satisfied, so it will not proceed to add block number 1 and instead it will go to the else condition, leading to the next block. In this block, there is another condition, add router equals 2. Since this condition is now satisfied, it will be directed to add block number 2. The first time we had a free ebook, this time it would be a free HTML template. And it follows the same cycle again, updating the add router to equal 3, then it goes back to the main loop. Once the next three messages trigger, it goes to the block, but now the condition of add router equals 1 is not met, add router equals 2 also not met, and add router equals 3, yes, the condition is met, it is satisfied, so it goes to the add block number 3. In add block number 3, it requests the user's email or phone number. May I have your name first? Capture the name. Now please provide a valid email, capture the email, and then it gets to the webhook from meg.com, which gets the data and integrates it to the Google spreadsheet. Okay, as I said in the beginning, you can just go to these ad blocks and kind of modify them with your data, change the titles, upload different media assets, go to the buttons and change the redirect URLs, uh, and so on. Also, if you go to the last block here, this webhook URL needs to be replaced. Just go to meg.com, copy your webhook URL from here and paste it to your VoiceFlow chatbot designer. Okay, this might seem a bit advanced and if you are confused at this stage, that's absolutely all right. Now I'm going to guide you through the building process of the chatbot. I'll show you everything step by step, how to add your knowledge base, how to create your ads, how to build the integration with Google spreadsheets in Mac.com and so on. So stay tuned and let's switch back to my screen. Once you sign up with VoiceFlow, we need to create a new assistant. Give it a name, I'll just name it YouTube tutorial, select modality chat and language English, continue, create assistant. You'll have all these guidelines from VoiceFlow. Feel free to go through them, watch the video if you want, but I'll delete it and we'll start from scratch. Okay, the first step is to go to content and add data sources. This is going to be your knowledge base. And I can't stress enough that the quality of your chatbot will depend on the knowledge base you attach here. So be sure to make it as comprehensive as possible because that's the essence of it. That's very important. Okay, I will upload the file, select my knowledge base PDF. It's just a sample knowledge base generated by ChatGPT for a kind of imaginary web agency. I'm going to import it and then I need to go to settings and here this system window is basically a place where you can provide your AI chatbot with custom instructions. Other words, describe its persona and what it should do in various scenarios. I also have a sample prompt prepared, like your mission is to assist businesses and individuals in understanding the full spectrum of web services, ensuring they make informed decisions tailored to their specific needs, etc, etc. So I'll copy and paste this to, to my knowledge base settings. Uh, you can also select the AI model here, I'll just leave GPT 3.5 Turbo, click save, and our knowledge base is set up. Now let's start the building process. The first block is going to be just text. Hi, my name is Ben, I am your AI assistant. You can also generate different variants with AI, that's a really cool feature. Then the next block is going to be listen and then capture, just leave entire user reply and last utterance. Then I'm going to grab the response AI block and drop it here as a next step. The prompt will be answer the user's question, last utterance, and we can preview how it works. Okay. What are your services? Generate, and here's the answer. As an AI language model, my services include providing information, answering questions, generating text. Well, something is wrong. The reply is very generic. It is not based on my knowledge base. To fix this, instead of AI model as a data source, I need to select knowledge base. And let's preview again. The same question, what are your services, generate, and now the response is completely different. It is now based on the content from my knowledge base file. So I can also run the assistant to see how it works so far. Greetings, I am Ben, your AI assistant. What are your services and pricing? And it provides the answer according to the attached knowledge base file. Okay, the basic AI assistant is ready. Now I'm going to add a bit more advanced logic and implement the lead generation functionality. On the left hand side at the top, go to variables. Click create variable and give it a name, messages sent. Keep the same capitalization, 
create variable and we are going to create one more. Let's name it add router, create variable. Now go to logic, set and add it to the first block. I'm going to set up the variables here. So the first one is going to be add router equals one and the second one is messages sent equals zero. Next, I'm going to add the trigger condition. Go to dev, then JavaScript and add it to, to the block number three. Here, just type messages sent space plus plus. Then go to logic condition, drop it to the same block, give it a name like check for trigger number of messages and then add a condition. Select the variable messages sent is three. So if the chatbot gets three messages, then this condition is satisfied. Also click no match, add a path, and that would be the chatbot's path if the condition is not satisfied. So if it doesn't have three messages, it will go back to the capture block and will continue the conversation with the user. If it has three messages, the add would be triggered. And this add trigger text block is just a placeholder. Uh, I need to create the ads first and then I'll come back to this block. To create the ads, let's drop a JavaScript block here. Enter messages sent equals zero and add router equals two. Then I'm gonna make two copies of this block. Let's give them proper names like add one, add two, add three. The first one sets add router equals to two. The second one sets add router equal to three and the third one sets add router equal to one. Now I'll create some add cards. Go to talk, card, drop it to the block. Here you can modify the card, add a title, for example, claim your free ebook, then upload an image. I have something prepared, enter card description. This is like a subtitle and add a button. Give it a name, for example, claim yours, then actions and redirect to the relevant URL. Okay, since the steps to create the second ad card are exactly the same as those for the first one, I'm going to skip it. But once the button is clicked, we need to create the next step for the process. And the next step is going to be a text block with a question like, what else I can help you with? Okay, connect the URL to this next block. I'll name it back to main loop and then connect this block to the main loop or in our case, block number two here. Okay, once you've created your second ad, let's move on to, to the ad block number three. And in this block, we are going to collect the user's email or phone number. Let's add a text block, something like, would you like one of our experts to get in touch with you? If so, what is your preferred contact method? Then navigate to listen, buttons, and add a button to this block. The first one would be email, the second would be phone and the third one could be something like i am okay thanks in just in case a user doesn't want to share the contact details now i'm adding a few text blocks to ask the user's name can i have your name first then i'll add a capture block which is to capture the name as a value right we need to create a new entity here let's call it name and select data type as name create entity and copy the block for the phone path now I'm going to add another text block. This time ask for an email. Now please provide your valid email address. Generate a few more variants. Copy and paste the block. Change the email to phone number. And then we need to capture those email address and phone number. So I add a capture block and here I create a new entity for email. Then I'll add another capture block and I'll create an entity for a phone number create entity. And the last step is to connect it to make.com via API. So go to dev API, drop a block here, connect the last two capture blocks to it. And I need a webhook URL to paste into this field. So let's go to make.com. On the left hand side, go to templates, search for webhooks, then search again for Google Sheets, find this webhook to Google Sheet template, and click start guided setup. Just click webhooks, create a webhook, give it a name, let's say YouTube tutorial, click save, and here's your webhook. Copy and paste it back to voice flow block here, and let's add the parameters that should be sent to make.com. I'll add the parameter for name, then email, and one more for phone. Okay, let's test it out. Train assistant, then I'd like to select email, 
It is asking for my name, I'll reply. Now it is asking for my email, I'll provide my email. So the flow works correctly. Let's, let's connect it to Google Spreadsheets and see if the name and email would be populated there. Connect your Gmail account, select your spreadsheet, just type the exact name of your spreadsheet file. And lastly, you need to choose values which were set up as parameters in VoiceFlow. So I have name, email, and phone. Click continue, and it's done. Let's send a request to test it. Enter the variables, name, email, phone. The status here is 200, which is good. If you go back to make.com and run this scenario, it should receive those variables. And if I open the first operation, I'll see the name, email, and phone were received successfully. Then if I go to the spreadsheet, and there is a new line with those variables that I just sent to make.com, so the scenario works correctly. To wrap it up, if it is a success, let's choose an action which would be go to block and select back to main loop. If it fails, just uh, add a text block saying it failed and then add, add an action called end. The very last step today is to set up the logic for add rotation. Let's drag and drop a condition I will remove this uh, add trigger placeholder. Uh, if add router is one, then action, then go to block and find add block number one. Then you need to create the else condition. So click no match, add a path and connect it to the next block. Actually, I'll just copy and paste these, uh, this block twice and I'll change the condition for add router to equal two. So it will go to add block number two and here I'll change the condition for add router to equal three and it will go to the block, to the add block number three. And if there is no match here, I'll add a text block saying add router failed. All right, it's done. Let's test it out one last time. Run test, hi Ben, message number one. I'll ask what is your phone number as a message number two and what is your email? This is message number three. So the ad should be triggered now. And it is. Okay, I am offered a free ebook. I can click claim yours and I'll be redirected to the relevant URL. Now I can publish this chatbot, give it a name, and I'll get a piece of code which I can paste to my website HTML, for example, so the, the chatbot would appear as a widget on my, on my site. Or I can integrate it into any other channels I wish. You can check out my other videos on how to integrate chatbots to WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger or Telegram. But also, VoiceFlow has an incredible AI assistant here. You can ask it any questions and get very specific guidelines. For example, I'll ask it, how can I integrate my chatbot to WhatsApp? It provides me with the steps I need to take to create this kind of integration. And also, it refers to their guidelines, which are incredibly detailed, full of illustrations, and so on. So if you are stuck, give this AI assistant a try. Most probably it will be able to help you out. All right, I know this tutorial was not the easiest one to follow along, but I hope you'll find it valuable. If you use it properly, this kind of lead generation with AI chatbot can save you a ton of time and money. And guys, if you like the video, please help me reach out to more people by liking, commenting, and subscribing. I am going to provide you with more step-by-step -step tutorials like this one. So stay tuned and I'll see you soon in the next one.